Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna be sharing 10 tips to help you reduce mouthpiece pressure without changing any equipment. And if you stick with us all the way to the end, we will also be revealing a special bonus tip that will help you take your trumpet playing to the next level. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying this so far. Now let's dive into our first tip. Number one, focus on proper breathing techniques. Proper breathing techniques is essential for trumpet players because it allows them to control the amount of air that they exhale, which in turn affects the amount of pressure on the mouthpiece. When a player exhales with too much force, it can create excess pressure on the mouthpiece, leading to discomfort and difficulty in producing a clear and focused sound. One way to improve breathing technique is to focus on exhaling slowly and evenly, much like how we speak or sing, rather than forcing the air out so quickly like we're blowing. This helps to maintain a steady stream of air, rather than creating bursts of pressure that can cause the mouthpiece to be pressed against the lips way too hard. Inadequate breathing can lead to a lack of control and stamina, which can also contribute to excess mouthpiece pressure in order to compensate for that. But by focusing on proper breathing technique, trumpet players can improve their control over the airflow and reduce the amount of pressure on the mouthpiece, leading to a more comfortable and effective playing experience. Number two, practice proper posture. Proper posture is important for trumpet players because it helps align the body in a way that facilitates efficient airflow and proper horn positioning. When the body is properly aligned, the trumpet can be held in a more comfortable and natural position, which can help reduce the amount of mouthpiece pressure needed to produce a great sound. Good posture also helps to maintain good breath control and support, which are essential for producing a clear, even sound on the trumpet. But when the body is poorly aligned, it can be difficult to maintain proper breath control and support, which can lead to a decrease in the overall quality of the sound. In addition to these benefits, proper posture can also help to prevent muscle strain and fatigue which can be common problems for trumpet players. By maintaining a good posture, trumpet players can reduce the risk of experiencing these issues, which can help to improve their overall playing, endurance, and comfort. Number three, relax your lip and facial muscles. Relaxing the lip and facial muscles can help reduce mouthpiece pressure for several reasons. First, tension in the lip and facial muscles will cause the muscles to tense up and grip the mouthpiece too tightly, which can create excess pressure on the lips and lead to fatigue. By relaxing these muscles, the player can allow the mouthpiece to rest gently on their lips reducing the amount of pressure needed to create a sound. Second, tension on the lips and face can cause the player to overcompensate with their breathing by blowing harder than necessary to improve their sound. And this can lead to a number of problems, including difficulty controlling pitch, difficulty producing a consistent sound, and even discomfort or pain on the lips and face. By relaxing the muscles, the player can use a more efficient and controlled breath to produce a good sound. Finally, relaxing the lip and facial muscles can also improve the player's overall technique and sound quality. Tension can disrupt the flow of air and impede the player's ability to shape and control their sound. By relaxing the muscles, the player can create a more fluid and natural movement of air, resulting in a more controlled and expressive sound. Overall, relaxing the lip and facial muscles can help trumpet players reduce mouthpiece pressure, improve their technique, and produce a more consistent and expressive sound. Number four, don't squeeze the trumpet too tightly. Squeezing the trumpet too tightly can cause several problems for trumpet players. First, it can lead to excess mouthpiece pressure, which can be uncomfortable and make it difficult to play with proper technique. See, when I squeeze, you can see the mouthpiece automatically cramps farther into my face. Therefore, when you squeeze the trumpet too tightly, it can create tension in the muscles of the lips, face, and jaw, which can then transfer to the mouthpiece and cause the lips to press too tightly against it. This can make it difficult to produce a clear and resonant sound, and also causes fatigue, making it harder to play for extended periods of time. Second, squeezing the trumpet too tightly can also cause poor tone quality. When the lips are pressed too hard against the mouthpiece, it can create a constricted sound that lacks richness and depth. This can also make it difficult to play with a consistent sound across different registers. To help reduce mouthpiece pressure and improve tone quality, trumpet players should focus on relaxing their grip on the trumpet and allow the instrument to rest gently in their hands. This can help to create a more relaxed and natural posture and reduce tension in the muscles in the face and jaw, which in turn help to reduce mouthpiece pressure and create a better sound. Number five, experiment with different embouchure shapes. Experimenting with embouchure is an important aspect of trumpet playing because it can help reduce mouthpiece pressure. The embouchure is the way that trumpet players shape their lips and mouth in order to produce a sound on the trumpet. A proper embouchure can help the player produce a clear and focused sound with less effort and less mouthpiece pressure. There are many factors that can affect the trumpet player's embouchure, including the size and shape of the mouthpiece, the player's lip size and shape, and the player's oral cavity. 
By experimenting with different embouchure techniques, a player can find the one that works best for them and helps them produce a sound with minimal mouthpiece pressure. Experimenting with embouchure can also help the player develop a more flexible and responsive embouchure, which can be useful for playing a wider range of notes and dynamics. A player with a flexible embouchure will be able to play with less mouthpiece pressure because they will be able to make small adjustments to the embouchures needed to produce the desired result. Overall, experimenting with embouchure can be an important part of a trumpet player's practice routine, as it can help them produce a more efficient an effective way of producing a sound on the instrument. Number six, focus on singing, not blowing. Focusing on singing rather than blowing can help reduce mouthpiece pressure on the trumpet because it encourages a more efficient and relaxed approach to playing. When we sing, we use our lungs efficiently to control our breath and produce sound rather than solely relying on the muscles in the lips and mouth. This is a more natural and sustainable way to generate a sound. It can help trumpet players avoid developing tension in the facial muscles. By focusing on singing through the instrument, trumpet players can also better control their airflow and reduce the amount of pressure they're applying to the mouthpiece. This can help prevent overblowing in the associated increase in mouthpiece pressure. Additionally, singing through the trumpet will allow the trumpet player to produce a more consistent and focused tone, which can be achieved more easily when the mouthpiece pressure isn't too high. Overall, focusing on singing rather than blowing can help trumpet players develop a more efficient and relaxed technique, reduce mouthpiece pressure, and improve their overall sound and control on the instrument. Number seven, focus on a consistent sound. Focusing on sound quality can help reduce mouthpiece pressure for trumpet players because it allows them to use a more efficient technique. When a player produces a good sound, it typically means that they're using proper breath control, proper placement of the lips on the mouthpiece, and a relaxed jaw and tongue. All of these factors contribute to a more efficient use of the muscles in the face and mouth, which can help reduce the amount of pressure that the trumpet player uses on the mouthpiece. Additionally, good sound quality also requires the trumpet to play with a full and rich tone, which can be achieved by using proper air support and a relaxed and open throat. This type of tone production can also help the player reduce mouthpiece pressure because it allows the player to use less muscle tension overall. Finally, focusing on sound quality can make the player more aware on their playing technique, which allows them to make adjustments as needed, which helps reduce mouthpiece pressure. By paying close attention to their sound and the sensations they feel in their mouth and face while playing, a player can learn to make subtle changes to their technique that can help them play more comfortably and with less mouthpiece pressure. Number eight, gradually increase your playing time. Gradually increasing your playing time can help reduce mouthpiece pressure for trumpet players for a few reasons. First, it allows you to build up your endurance and stamina, which can help you maintain a consistent and comfortable level of mouthpiece pressure. When you first start practicing, it's natural to feel tired and fatigued, which can lead to an increase in mouthpiece pressure as you struggle to maintain your sound and technique. By gradually increasing your playing time, you can build up your endurance to become more comfortable with longer practice sessions. Another reason why gradually increasing your playing time can help reduce mouthpiece pressure is that it allows you to develop better control of your embouchure. The embouchure is the way that lips, teeth, and jaw are positioned to produce sound on a brass instrument. An unstable or tense embouchure can lead to an increase in mouthpiece pressure as you try to compensate for any deficiencies in your technique. But by gradually increasing your playing time, you can invest that time by working on developing a more stable embouchure, which can help you develop a consistent and comfortable level of mouthpiece pressure while playing. Finally, gradually increasing your playing time can help reduce mouthpiece pressure by allowing you to work on your breath control and air support. Proper breath control and air support are essential for producing a consistent and focused sound on the trumpet. And an inadequate supply of air can lead to an increase in mouthpiece pressure. By gradually increasing your playing time, you can work on developing these important skills, which can help you maintain a consistent and comfortable amount of mouthpiece pressure while playing. Number nine, practice softly. Practicing softly can help reduce mouthpiece pressure in trumpet players for several reasons. First, playing softly requires less air and less muscular effort, which can lead to less tension in the lips and facial muscles. When the lips and facial muscles are relaxed, they can more easily form the proper embouchure, or the shape of the lips or mouth that is necessary to produce a good sound on the trumpet. This can help to reduce mouthpiece pressure and prevent fatigue. Additionally, practicing softly can help trumpet players develop a more efficient and steady airflow, which can also help to reduce mouthpiece pressure. By practicing softly, trumpet players can better learn how to control their air and use it more efficiently, rather than relying on excessive mouthpiece pressure to produce a good sound. Overall, practicing softly can help trumpet players develop an overall better technique, leading to improved sound quality and reduced mouthpiece pressure. Finally, number 10, practice regularly and consistently. Practicing regularly and consistently can help trumpet players reduce mouthpiece pressure for several reasons. First, consistent practice helps to produce muscle memory and control. When a trumpet player practices a passage or an exercise repeatedly, the muscles become more accustomed to the movements and pressures required to create a good sound. As a result, they are able to produce a sound with less effort and less mouthpiece piece pressure. Second, consistent practice also helps a trumpet player develop better breath control. By practicing proper breathing techniques and working on endurance, a player is able to sustain a steady strain of air without increasing 
maintains tension on the lips. And this also helps to reduce mouthpiece pressure. Finally, consistent practice allows a player to identify and address issues in their technique, which may be contributing to their excess mouthpiece pressure. For example, if a player is using excess mouthpiece pressure because they're not playing with a rich and full tone, they can work on their tone production through consistent practice, which in turn won't require them to use excess mouthpiece pressure anymore. Overall, consistent practice is an essential component of trumpet playing and can help players reduce mouthpiece pressure by improving muscle control, breath control, and overall technique. And now for a bonus tip, work with a teacher or a coach. A knowledgeable instructor can help you identify any issues with mouthpiece pressure and provide you personalized guidance on how to improve. And if you're looking for more advice about how to play the trumpet with less pressure and less overall effort, I have a free trumpet class in the description below. We hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, leave a comment below and let us know which tip you're going to try out first. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one. And if you like this video, check out this next video on the top 10 female trumpet players of all time. Check it out.